So, is Miorzo here? I wonder. I get the feeling it won't be easy to find. Nobody we talked to had even heard of a town called Miorzo. You'd expect to see more activity in this place if anybody knew there was a town here. The difficulty of the road might be responsible for that, though. Man, why'd the Critians have to go and build a town in a place like this anyway? Probably to avoid a lot of prying eyes. We're just gonna have to check it out for ourselves to make sure, then. Get ready. I'm taking you down. Halt! This area is currently under control of the Imperial Knights. The Royal Guard. This is the Commandant's private force of elite knights. What are the Commandant's forces doing in a forest like this with Hoplon Blastia? I have no reason to answer your questions. And civilian activity is restricted by law in this area. Hmm. Be that as it may, why are you pointing that weapon at us like that? Bring it on! Watch my back.
Man, that escalated quickly. Well, we're off to a good start. So the mysterious group of people was the Imperial Knights. Why did he attack us? Maybe because they're doing something here that they don't want anyone to know about? You mean, with that Blastia? Maybe, yeah. Hmm. You said you were gonna come with us, so you better pull yourself together. <sighs> I know. Watch out! Estelle! What did you just do? Same as what she did in Helliard. Estelle's power took the air and made it dissipate. You've got to stop doing crazy things like that. I'm... I'm sorry. I just thought about how everyone was in danger, and before I knew it, my power... Her power is starting to unconsciously respond to her feelings. That last attack came from that Blastia. It was aiming straight at us. Which means that Estelle will end up using her power every time we're shot at. But then... What should I do? Hey, hey, you saved us, didn't you? Yeah, if that had hit us head on, we would have been goners for sure. We should be mad at the fact that they shot at us, not that Estelle protected us. We've sworn to settle Estelle's problems along with the world's problems. Everything we're doing right now is towards that purpose. We shouldn't let the details get in our way. But won't Pharaoh get mad if she keeps doing stuff like this? Whether it's by a Blastia or by Pharaoh, I don't want to be barbecued alive. Come on, this is simple. We just have to do something about that Blastia, right? That's right. Let's plummel the jerks who are controlling that Blastia! All right, let's go. Try to keep a low profile. <sighs> If you keep standing around, we're gonna leave you behind. Stay close behind me, Estelle. My magic will protect you if they attack with the Hoplon Blastia. But you'd be putting yourself in danger, Rita. We're all in danger, so relax. Or maybe you don't believe I can do it. No, no! I'm just worried about you. Well, I'm worried about you. Those two sure have come a long way. Their little fights were fun, though. Oh well, I guess this way is healthier for everyone. Yeah, I think so too. Hey, Peanut Gallery! Shut up, or we'll leave you behind! She's still got a couple of rough spots to work on, though. Soon enough.
to me! Destruct all trainers! Oh, brilliant angels, grant us your favor! That's what happens when I get sick. I it's them! Get out of our way! being shot at anymore we might have stopped the knights but we still got to deal with this guy hmm he's not a hermes blastia but the formula has been encrypted care to explain in english basically without a key to decode the formula we can't turn it off so i assume breaking the code isn't no it's not easy even if i could break it that would take time hmm maybe if i I don't think this will take much time at all. Wait! But you said... Help! What are you doing here? Perhaps he is this Blastia's engineer. No! I mean, I am an engineer and all, but I... I, I was just following orders! I, I swear I never wanted to get involved in something like this! Undo the code and stop this Blastia now! Yes, of course, right away! I'm sorry for surprising you back there. Huh. Duh. I knew right away you were only trying to make me jump. 
Oh? At least that's one problem down. Now we can go to Murzo once the weather clears. No! What is it? Ah! E Yuri! I could use your help here, kid. Uh, right. Should have known they'd have another one of these. Yuri, don't tell me you did that to keep me from using my power. Don't you think that was a bit reckless? Indeed. Do you have a death wish? This? This is nothing. Yuri, I'm sorry. It was my fault. Hey, you did the same for us before, right? Well, now we're even. But... Estelle, perhaps a simple thank you would do best. I... Thank you. Moving right along, we'd better do something about that other Blastia. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know... Hey! Ah! Fast, little bugger. We better catch him quick. Please wait. Patty is... Rita, I'm sorry. I let him get away. Don't worry about it. I'll come up with something. Yeah, but you said it wasn't easy. As long as the knights aren't around, we don't have to worry so much about how long it takes. Besides, who do you think you're dealing with? I'm the genius mage, Rita Mordio. If it's me versus a Blastia, I'll win or die trying. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Oh. What are you doing? If we leave it like this, someone could use it again. I'll just make a few adjustments. I'm sorry. <sighs> Nothing shines quite so bright as a young person with something they're willing to risk their life for. For somebody who stood on death's doorstep, saying you'll do something or die trying isn't just a figure of speech. Huh? Death's doorstep? Didn't you say you almost died during the Great War? Huh. Forgot I mentioned that. Well, only the living have the privilege of saying they'll fight to the last breath. Words like conviction and resolve don't mean much to a dead man. You okay, old man? Here I am, running off at the mouth. I get a bit sentimental when I start digging up the past. Come on! Onward! Ready to go? Is everyone okay? I'll live. Me too. This time the old man looks a little worse for wear. Hey old man, wanna sit this one out? We can go on ahead. If you leave me behind, there ain't any place else for me to go. Come on, even Yuri wouldn't leave you here for good. And anyway, 
You could always go back to Altos, couldn't you? Hmm. There's always that, I suppose. But they're... how do I say it? Not the same as you guys. Oh, really? <laughs> well, if you're okay, old man, let's get over to that Blastia before it recharges and attacks us again. Aye, aye. Roger that. to fight this one. Get ready for anything. You can. You keep thinking like that, and I'm sure you will. Blastia's been making some weird noises. 
It's charging up air. It won't be able to fire again for a while. If we hurry up and sneak past, the enemy will be utterly helpless. You don't seriously think that, do you? It's the Royal Guard! From the other side, too. We're surrounded? We need to stand firm and hold out. This one's pretty tough. We must be cautious. No way! No way! I'm just getting started. I did it! This enemy doesn't look so nice. Do you want to run away? Oh, that was way too strong. Zoning out. I'm sorry, Yuri. Hattie, maybe you should have stayed back on the ship after all. I... If I'm just gonna keep causing trouble for you guys like this, maybe I should have... <laughs> Enough with the indecision and grumbling. We've come this far, haven't we? We're all friends here. Didn't we tell you not to worry? Friends? My... It's not every day we get to hear you say such sweet things, Rita. S shut up! Come on, we have to stop that Hoplon Blastia. Okay, okay. You all heard the lady. Friends. Patty, what are you doing? Do you want to get left behind? Struck the work of the knights shall be treated as criminals. <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. This one's strong. Ooh, skip. Ew, 
very scary. Take this! Take this! Uh, Newman, wait! Take this! I can't keep doing this! This is cool! This is You're on holy power to this day! Take this! This is first aid! Oh, brilliant angels, grant us your favor! This We're done. How does it look, Rita? Just like I thought. This formula is protected by a code as well. Think you can break it? I said I'd do it or die trying, didn't I? This has nothing to do with getting us to Miorzo anymore. There's no way in hell I'll let those idiot knights go on using these poor Blastia like this! Okay, I'll leave this to you guys! And where are you off to, Carol? I'm gonna keep watch down below, just in case more royal guards show up. Well then, I'll come along and help out. I'm going too. It looks like Patty's cheered up. I hope so. And you know, the guy's enthusiasm actually kind of scares me. It's Yuri's influence. I guess the rest of us will stay here for now. Yuri himself is as laid back as can be, though. True. Looks like it'll be a while before she can crack that code. Royal Guard, huh? I wonder what those guys were planning to do with the Blastia anyway. Yeah! Ah! The Knights have come back! We've got to hold our ground here. This one's pretty tough. We must be cautious. Well then, here come the... Yeah, it seems they're not going to let us rest. They're just waiting for us to get tired. Rita, I shall defend this place. Photon! Destruction phase! Destruction phase! You're the best of us! You're the best of us! You're the best of us! Faith in me? In us? 
Succeed or die trying, wasn't it? We won't give in. Rita, do what you can and save that Blastia. Aye, we're gonna do our best. We're going to fight them all off, so hang in there. You guys... I will. I'll fix this thing if it's the last thing I do! And just so you know, I'm expecting the same from you guys. <sighs> oh, hell. Guess I'll give it all I got, too. Are you joining the Shining Youth Brigade or something? Looks that way. I'll do my best! Don't let your focus slip! No going through! through the knights are pulling back why because the blastia stopped i wonder what they were trying to do let's not look a gift horse in the mouth now we've kept our promise to tort judith you take it from here okay has opened. That is Miorzo, homeland of the Critian people. It's definitely impressive. It's as unexpected as a dandelion blooming on the bottom of the sea. Looks like they won't keep it open for as very long. We should hurry. Baul! Flying city. Who'd have guessed? Forget the city. What about that huge thing? It looks like a living creature. It's a floating jellyfish. It's an Antilochea, though not one I've spoken to. An Antilochea? How did something like that swallow an entire city? That I don't know. I had absolutely no idea a city like this existed. That's because Miorzo cut off contact with the outside world ages ago. It's not going to attack us or anything if we get closer, right? Don't worry. As long as Baul is with us, we should be allowed to enter.
This is amazing! Hey, look! They're all Critians. Uh, are they welcoming us? Now this is a surprise. These visitors really are from the outside. Well, well. So it was you who called on Miorzo. And what is this? How strange. What curious ornaments you wear. Hey, it's not polite to stare, you know. How are such children as yourselves able to come here? She's talking about you, Patty. Mm -hmm. You too, Rita. Is this monster an Entelikea, perhaps? It's Baul. Have you forgotten him? Oh, you're the one who descended to the Earth some years ago, right? I believe Judith. Yes, Judith was your name. There was something you had to attend to, and... Are you about finished? We would like to meet with the Elder. Please feel free to do as you wish. He may be out for a walk again, though. Okay, so they're a bit weird. That's actually called rude. You're one to talk, Rita. All Christians are pretty much like that. Like what? Oh, easygoing, unafraid. We are dreamers and optimists, for better or worse. The Critians who live on the surface are like that too. Living together with humans, the Critians on the surface have lost some of their naivete. So is the Elder like that too? How should I put it? He's the perfect Elder for weird people. Sounds like quite a unique individual. I'm trying to be nice here. This should be interesting. The Critians are different than I imagined. Oh man, I totally agree. What's so different? You know, more like... I thought they'd be more like you, Judith. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm seeing far less skin than I expected. I mean, come on! So that's what the two of you were looking forward to? How juvenile. What are you looking at me for? I was talking about our personality. Seriously, let's have some decency here. Is it me, or are you a little disappointed too, Yuri? I'd like to ask the same thing, Yuri. It's you. Ah, man. there'd be a city in a place like this. There's so many types of Blastia I've never seen before. Looks like the Critians really were the ones who created Blastia in the first place. Yes, seeing all this Blastia makes it very easy to believe that. It sure would be nice if we happened upon a way to do something about your power, Mrs. Stell. Really, that would be nice, but... It's not working. It doesn't have a core. It's just the body. This city has stopped using Blastia. What you see here is what everyone threw out long ago. Why would they do that? Because that was the path we chose. It's been a long time, Elder. So you were the cause of all this commotion outside. You've returned to us. These children are humans who are traveling with me. Hmm. This is Blastia, is it not? Yes, it's my Bodhi Blastia that I use. Hmm. I thought that Earth Dwellers had stopped using Blastia, like us. Do you not use the Blastia here because it uses a special formula too? There are no normal or special types of Blastia. 
Blastia is made by crushing apatheia and processing those pieces with technology to produce cores and through the absorption of air. Hold it. Cores are made from crushed apatheia? Indeed, that is what the stories say. It appears apatheia was too powerful in its original form. Even without that power, it is a stone more valuable than any precious gem. This is why its power was restrained, by breaking it into pieces. And our legends tell us that cores were always produced in this way. A bit ironic, huh? Yeah, the apatheia that comes from Entelikeia, who hate Blastia, is necessary to make the very Blastia that they hate. Maybe Pharaoh didn't tell us about Apatheia because he felt uncomfortable talking about it, you think? Elder, there are many things I'd like to ask you about. We're trying to find out what sort of role Blastia played in ancient times. And if Blastia ever brought disasters to this world, we'd like to know how they might have been stopped. Niorzo must still have some folklore, right? Perhaps you could tell us what you know. Hmm. Very well. My home would be a better place to speak of such things. Please go inside and wait for me there. Hey there! Where are you going? I was in the middle of my daily walk. I'll return to my house before too long. <sighs> Apatheia, Blastia, air disturbances, Entelakea, it looks like everything's connected. We might even see more connections once he's told us the Critian folklore. The Elder's house is a large building with a differently colored roof than all the others. Gotcha. Patty, we're leaving. Oh yeah, I'm coming too. You used to live in Murzo, Judy? Yeah, when I was a kid. What sort of kid were you? A little shy and overindulged, maybe? A little shy. That's hard to picture. It is beyond imagining, isn't it? Everyone told me I was a strange child. Yes, I can see that. A child being called strange by strange people. She must have been Judy-like since she was little. I'd like to ask you all exactly what that means to each of you.
Do you think we should really just go in? He's the one who told us to wait for him here. I guess the Critians really are different. They don't seem to be in any great rush to get things done, that's for sure. I know, they certainly are weird, aren't they? Actually, you're kind of like that too, Judith. That's funny, I don't see that at all. Seems like Patty'd fit right in here too. Might be nice to live here. Ah, there you are. Welcome back. I've kept you waiting. Now, please, step this way, if you will. Huh? This is the very means by which the lore of Miorzo is passed on. But, uh, it's just a wall. Judith, use the nagig as you touch the wall, and repeat these words. City of dreams, veiled in mist, reality's extension. City of dreams, veiled in mist, reality's extension? <laughs> What's happening? Whoa. So the Nagik can do this kind of stuff, too. You know about the Nagik. Through its power and the secret phrase handed down, the wall's true form is revealed. Th this painting is kind of creepy. The Kritya, stewards of wisdom, founders of the mighty Garaios and ancient sages. Our misbegotten wisdom has sown only the seeds of ruin. The Blastia we created granted us blessings, but also blighted the air, lifeblood of this world. Then Rita was right. There were disturbances in the air in the past. You think this is showing a disturbance in the air? It looks more like the air is trying to eat the planet. Hmm. It is said that a great mass of air threatened to swallow the very planet whole. The blight grew ever stronger and brought forth a cataclysm. In our terror, we gave a name to the cataclysm, 
the Adafagos. Adafagos. The world united to challenge the Adafagos and banish the loathsome power which created it. Hey, could that be the end to Lakea? It does look a bit like monsters and humans fighting something off together. Though the Garayo civilization was lost, the Autophagos was quelled in the end. The fact that we are all still here today is evidence enough of that. So then, is this painting showing the Autophagos being brought under control? What is that? It looks like a large ring. What is that? I can't say. I've wondered that myself. Hey, what's the last thing it says there? Judy? Hearing the world's prayers, life faded from the child of the full moon. The Atafagos disappeared into the void. What? The world's prayers. Life faded from the children of the full moon. Our world was preserved, but the story shall remain here for generations to tell of our sin. 240th year of Asul. What's that supposed to mean? There is no further explanation of what each of these phrases may mean. Our ancestors created the Blastia, which led to the downfall of their entire civilization. They then chose to abandon the Blastia and sever their ties with the outside world. It's now! Let her go. This is all the lore of Miorzo. Thanks. You've given us a lot to think about. You know what's helpful? There's this magic cucumber that'll turn any dish into a gourmet meal. I think we'll pass. Could we trouble you for a place to rest a while? I feel we may need to impose on you until our friend has calmed down. Hmm. You are free to use the house next door. No one lives there right now. Thank you. Okay, let's be going. Everything the Elder said is true, isn't it? His interpretation of the murals might not be perfect, but with all he told us, it was very convincing. We knew this was a global problem once we talked to Pharaoh. He granted us time because he knew how we would react when we saw this. He probably wanted to show us humanity ain't cut out to handle the situation. And to make us give up on Estelle. So everything's just going according to Pharaoh's plan, then? I will not let that happen! Never! I won't give up on her! The Cataclysm? The Autophagos? If that legend's true, then maybe the power of the Child of the Full Moon isn't the only thing to blame for bringing out the Autophagos. But what about the hearing the world's prayers, life faded from the children of the Full Moon part? Maybe they averted danger by killing the cause of the Autophagos, the children of the Full Moon. But... But wait! Aren't the Hermes Blastia the real cause? Can't we just stop those? It might not be just the Hermes Blastia. That legend made it sound like all Blastia disturbed the world's air. Right, Rita? 
The elders said that Blastia are Blastia. There are no normal ones or special ones. I think that means the only thing that's different is how much air each formula uses. Even the Blastia we're using? Bodhi Blastia are special, but all Blastia utilize air in a formula. They're all the same. And formulas need air to work. The Hermes technique, the children of the full moon, they're probably only part of the danger. With more and more Blastia, the Autophagos will awaken. This is what the Entelikea are afraid of. And that's what I was worried about. I didn't want to admit it. Blastia couldn't be bad. The people who used them for evil were the bad ones. That's what I always believed. But I was wrong. So does that mean we have to stop every Blastia? Like the people here in Murzo did? Aye. We should toss every Blastia in the trash. Gotta row our boats with oars, too. That's impossible. We need Blastia for our everyday lives. Barrier Blastia, Aqua Blastia, Bodhi Blastia, too. Yeah, you're right. So, it's really not possible? I couldn't take on a really tough monster if I didn't have this. Yeah. I wish we could use Blastia without worrying about consuming air. But I guess that's just a dream. The Rizomata formula. What's that? All things exist due to the sublimation, reduction, formation, and dispersion of air. Some think that a still undiscovered theory could freely manipulate those essential mechanisms of air. Formulating that theory is the ultimate goal of current magical research by mages around the world. So that's the Rizomata formula? If it's found, manipulating air will become so much easier. Of course, we need a formula to reconstruct air from power that was originally converted from air. But Estelle's power is actually directly manipulating air. Estelle is the closest thing to the Rizomata formula. If we can use a formula to interfere with and neutralize Estelle's power... I don't really get it, but... If you work out that formula thing, then Estelle can live in peace, right? So by that logic, if we could control the excess of air, we could prevent provoking the autophagos. Awesome! Hmm. Sounds difficult, but awesome. So we're supposed to go looking for some formula that researchers all over the world can't find? Now you're really dreaming. I will figure out this formula. For Estelle and for me. Yeah, you do that. Huh? Raven, where are you going? For a walk. All this talk about saving the world, the ultimate goal of magical research. This conversation's a little much for old Raven to keep up with. That formula sounds nice and all, but the air is getting worse as we're sitting here. Yeah. For now, we have to find whoever is making the Hermes Blastia. Otherwise, it'll be too late, just like Pharaoh said. But how are we supposed to find whoever that is? If we follow whoever's looking for Apatheia, they should lead us right to them. Cores are made from Apatheia, after all. So Flynn and Nan and their friends? Yeah. I wonder if we'll have to fight them. That's kind of up to them. is working why this one is fitted with a core 
something's written here. Warp. So in other words, someone used this to leave Miorzo? It looks that way. Didn't they get rid of all the Blastia here? There shouldn't be any functioning, right? Yes. At least that's how it should be. Hmm. What could a functional Blastia be doing here? It appears that someone's left the town. Estelle. Where's Estelle? Wait, and where'd the old man go? Huh? You don't think both of them use this? What do you mean? Hmm. The Blastia in our towns should have all lost their cores back in ancient times. A core was probably brought in from outside the town. It should require adjustment to function properly, but Estelle's an exception to the rules. If she can interact directly with air, she might also be able to reconstruct air to fit the core's formula. But why would she... Elder, could you get everyone to help us search to see if our friends are in town? Hmm. Very well. Let's look for them too. I never should have left Estelle alone. Maybe I couldn't have done anything, but I should have stayed with her. She was so depressed. You're not responsible for this. Beating yourself up over it won't bring her back. I know. And what happened to Raven? He was acting a little strange. Do you think they're working together? I really doubt they'd both disappear at the same time. But why just the two of them? Don't make me start questioning your loyalties, Raven. As you thought, the two of them are nowhere to be found. I wonder what could have happened to them. Anyway, let's get back to the surface and look for them. But even if we do, the world's a big place. It's reckless to just go searching blindly. Perhaps the two of them went on a walk? A walk that involves leaving the town without saying anything to us? Not a chance. Well, only the living have the privilege of saying they'll fight to the last breath. And words like conviction and resolve don't mean much to a dead man. Out. Ah, well. Just when things were getting good. Just who are you, anyway? What does the head of the knights want with you? I can't believe I only just remembered that. I've got a bad feeling about this. Hurry! We have to follow them! I understand how you're feeling, but please try to calm down. What? Aren't you worried? Of course I'm worried. That's why we should calm down and think rationally, right? Oh, right. Yeah. I see. I'm sorry. Got any ideas? Ah, yes. The master of Miorzo might have some idea. He's an Entelikea, after all. Maybe he felt the flow of air from the Blastia. Did you hear it? Could you tell us where it was? To the west. A sea of sand. A town? It's not too clear, but a desert town. I think it's Jormgen. That's the town in the sands of Kagor, where we met Duke before. The sands? Why would they go to a place in the middle of nowhere? Let's head there now. You're leaving, then? I am. You don't need to shoulder such a burden. Haven't you suffered enough? Thank you, Elder. But I'm not suffering anymore. Hmm. Hmm. If you went into the outside world, you might understand, too.